Today, we're making wild hog stew down 3D way with coconut milk powder. Stay tuned. I don't know who commented this line. I don't know nothing, but what all I know is we have this wild hog here. We had to call my boy, you know. Who the heck? Yeah, yeah. And now talk to him about the Kian Girl. Did that good size to cook it? I never cooked a wild hog before. You could, cut, you could cut this piece in half. Cut this in half? Yeah. Alright. How about this then? Yeah. Alright. The mm -hmm. skin. Mm -hmm. I find it kind of tough. Throw that away or? No. That's the best part. Boy. That's the best part? What do you think is the best way to cook this? Curry or? Um, curry stew. Curry stew? Wild meat always curry stew. When it comes to washing, our wild meats, we use two major ingredients. We use flour and mustard. I'll tell you all why. We don't want to wash this out with citrus because the citrus tends to bring out too much of a harsh flavor. We, we don't want to change the taste of the wild meat. Let me show you all the process. I'll drain off this water here. We add the flour. Mustard. I find that the mustard it complements the natural flavor of the meat. Good afternoon. Now the way saying why? Why you talk boy? Why you talk in the party? Lord, I stay away from that. We're going outside. We're gonna make some green seasoning. We're doing wild hog. We must have fresh seasoning. I like to hit this our double washer. Pull up the sink here. Wash it out. This is the bottom of this here. Just clip it out. You see all this? Plant them back in the garden over the house. You have to be careful. You see these rubber bands? Plenty of times I get people to see it, boy. Yeah. You wash your food. Oh, you wash it. Hello. Kim, Hi. I'm friend from Oak Nandi. Hello. 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 Yeah, Hello. Hello. This thing waiting here two hours now, you know, like I got a completely oh. jump for the man, boy. All right. Well, let me go ahead and make the dry season. All right, all right. So some shadow bending leaves. Some. Well, I would refer to them as scallions. A lot of people refer to them as sives also. We have some thyme, right? But what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna blend these up. I'm gonna leave them whole. What happens when you throw these branches in the pot, the leaves will fall off and will flavor the pot. And then you could remove the stems afterwards. We have some garlic in there, some onion in there. We have some very nice flavorful pimentos. Look at that man. Right? I cut up. They said it's smaller, the sweeter. I you know. My aim here is to blend up everything and then mix everything Together. up in the end. So we're going for a walk? Yeah, I'm going for a walk. I can tell you. I can tell you. So we're going to add some of this freshly ground or freshly blended green season. Look at that. So I'm going to go right in. I'm going to turn this up. Make sure every piece is treated nicely with that green seasoning. Covering it. It's a beautiful green blanket. And we're going to just let that green season hang out. Nice! Gonna let that hang out, Kosome, as we say in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. You see that? That nice amber color that you see on the bottom of the pot there? Yeah, the sugar is now starting to melt. But you're not gonna throw in your meat at this point, you're gonna wait. I'll show you when the magic happens. The amber color has still into a deep brown. You don't want to throw in your meat just yet. Hold on, keep stirring. Be patient with your pot. Man, this is a beautiful brown melanin type of brown that we're looking for in the pot. And you see right at this point, it's gonna fluff up and then it's gonna go down. Right? So what you wanna do is cap it at this right exact moment here. It's gonna have the perfect balance of sweetness, bitterness, brownness, everything you need for a perfect stew. And now prepare yourself for the chow. -wow. Ready? Chow oh, wow, way. That 
pour some sizzle that you get in. Well, that means that all the natural waters have evaporated and now the meat is cooking in its own juices, man. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. What do you look of our fruit ball there? A ripe or a green? A green. Wait, now we're making a dumpling? Yes, boy. So what I do? Coconut sauce. coconut sauce dumpling. Yes, boy. So I have to. Try, I really do have to try this coconut milk mixture right, right now. You open the, the beaches, right? Swiss yeah, you yeah. open more yeah. Which could have come yeah. side among the people deciding yeah. to go to the, to the beach. All Takar blanches when I go up up there. When I ask a man where you come from, boy, I come from South, Pina, Kuva, this and that. So sudden as. No, we does, we does compliment everything on the avenue, South people. Set up in town, South people. And, yeah, yeah, really not, not money but, but, but well, when last you come down there, you see that stay in the you know what The people on the southern part of the country, they're real hospitality. All is, all is extend all itself to anybody. The eyes are not men. We not men, very naughty. We will have something else to come up here. We are going down here, brother. So, they call it quank, which is really curry stew, wild hog. And some coconut dumpling made by Melissa, aka Nasana, madam. So we're going to enter here with this, the only way we know how to. Hmm. Can't ask for better.